If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Red or blue? Red. Cool. God, God damn it. <laughs> good game. Well, now 20. I'm so good. Oh, this is awful. Doing four back. Stand, Stand up, up Vanguard. Vanguard. Broccolini Musketeer Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> Dreaming Jewel Knight Tiffany. Uh, draw, ride, roof, draw a card, make a token. And pass. Draw, ride Morbidus, I get a draw. Yeah. And a quick shield. And. And revealing my Harmonics Messiah, yeah. I get a Guardian ticket. Wow. He's so good at this game, guys. Wow. Going second is so cool, guys. Y'all just swing for eight. Take it. Cool. Pass Smart turn. Nah. Draw. Ooh. Uh, ride Tor, Counterblast 1, Retire something. Check top 3, I can call... Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, cool. Uh, play Ruth and... Oh, wait, that... Um, yeah, we'll play Ruth and Saul. I'll use... Who's... Yeah, I'll use Saul's ability. Uh, Soul Blast 1, Retire, Rearguard, Check top 3 to call another thing. I'll call Murka and the rest go to the bottom of the deck in any order. Murka's skill, Soul Blast 1, call a thing plus 3k, because I call the thing in its column. Uh, we'll play Gaston to hit numbers. <laughs> uh, and we'll go 10 to Van. Quick shield. 16 to Van. Mm, no guard, no trigger. 18 to Van. Take it. Draw, draw trigger, power to Van, I draw. Damage. That's turn. All right, stand, draw. We're gonna ride. Sybil. Yep. Morbidus's effect when rode on top of her. Draw a card. Yeah. Then let's start making a board. Call Sword Me. Sword Me Seal. Kind of blast a Jewel Knight. Search my deck for a grade one Jewel Knight and call it. I'm going to call Eunice. Then I'll call another Eunice. And you kind of lost a jewel night. I did. did. Good. Call no Sybil. Sure. Battle phase. Let's go. Ten to Vanguard on attack. I put a card from hand into soul that's grade two or less and draw a card. Intercept. Cool. This Sybil is gonna attack and do the exact same thing. The grade two or less jewel knight, draw a card. Eighteen? Eighteen. That's seventeen? Yep. Take. Ooh, power to rear and I draw. No trigger. 27 to Vanguard. Yeah, take that. Damage check is Saul. And that's it. Stand and draw. I'll ride Cecilia. Nothing happens. I'm gonna use this again. Cool. I will discard Martina to activate the act ability of Virginal Cecilia. I stride it. And when I stride it, I turn a musketeer from my G-zone face up. I got two gifts and a Cecilia crest. You're at two, I kind of want to get the crit ones just to bully you. Cause I'm not going to be calling many things from the battle phase this turn. So taking the crits will just be really funny. Yeah, I'm not calling during the battle phase. So screw it. I'm going to get the, uh, give these things crits just cause that'd be really funny. Oh boy. I'll, put on the, I'll put it on the van. Actually, do I want to put it on the Vanguard? No, I don't want to put it on the Vanguard. Uh, and I also got the Cecilia crest. So Virginal Cecilia gets my heart skill and another cool effect. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retire the plant token, check the top five and call a musketeer. We're gonna call Ruth. I'll use Ruth's effect to make a token on place. Actually, I'll put it over here so Merka gets 3k. So that was my heart skill number one that wasn't the limit break. Um, I'm gonna then use Virginal's ability, counterblast one, retiring three, checking top seven and calling three. Oh, these are terrible. We'll play Vera and Cecilia reverse. And it has to be Musketeer specifically, right? Um, oh no, it doesn't have to be. So we'll call Happy Lucky because it has a cool effect. That's cool. Uh, Merka gets another 6k or 3k because the second thing was called to its column. Limit break. Counterblast one, retire a thing, search my deck for two Cecilias and call them. That's what her effect does, right? I have to put five normal units uh, from drop into the bottom of my deck. Three, 
four, and this has a shield value, so five. Retire this, search my deck for two Cecilias and play them. One and two, and now the crest activate. And this gets another 3k because another thing was called to its column. The crest activates, so because I played two white Lily Cecilias, I draw two cards and they each get 10k. That's pretty cool. Uh, so 10, 10, and draw two. I don't have any face-up counterblast for Cecilia Reverse. That's fine, I guess. We're just gonna go right to combat. Oh, and is it also, oh, it's just, oh, your grade three cards, not your Vanguard, so this is That's 13. 13. That's yeah. funny as hell, so this is 23 two crit. So we'll go 13, 28, 38 to Van draw card. Yeah, I'm just take it. Okay, first check. Critical, critical power to the right. Third check, no trigger. All right. First, part of Van, draw. Borrow one of those. Okay. Second check, no trigger. Uh, 33k2 crit to Van. Oh, I also had to flip over another thing to use uh, her ability. It has to be the same name. 35. Okay. Uh, this is a plus nine, so 17. Uh, plus 13, oh, this is actually, did I give two triggers of this thing? No, why is this big or whatever? Uh, so this you is 13, a, 23, um, plus seven. Oh, I was doing the math on this is 40 with two crit to Vanna. 40? Yeah. All right, matching and then intercept. That's it. Oh. Give me one. Drew for turn and we'll ride Salome. Okay. We'll just go right into the main phase starting with uh, discarding a grade three mm. to stride Evangeline. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, turn a card with Jewel Knight face up. There's only one Jewel Knight G unit that exists. And then I get two imaginary gift force markers. This is definitely a force one deck. And then I get my crest. Cool, and then my crest says that my heart, my Vangeline gets the ability of all my heart. And I, the first time I use the heart's ability, I can do it for free. So I'm just gonna declare act okay. to search for a jewel knight. We're gonna search. Yeah, this is deck thinning, right? Yeah. I'll use sword muse on place, counter blasting a jewel knight to search for a grade one or less jewel knight. So I'll search. Christine. Okay. And then we'll use Christine's on place. Since I have four other rear guards, I can counterblast one, reveal a grade three in my hand, mm -hmm. to then search my deck for a grade three card with Jewel Knight in its name and call it to rear guard circle. Yeah. Let's call it there. No, this one, this side hits no better numbers, question mark. Yeah, 20 versus Mm -hmm. Whatever that would have been. Well, this is still 17, so either way. Actually, I like this better. Yeah, I'll call Ashley there. And then at the end of the turn, um, it would go back to my hand. Okay. Cool. Burning right through my counter blasts. Love it. Same. Evangeline has an effect. I can turn a card in my G zone face up. And if I have a heart with Ionics. Ionix. Here, baby. What? Shout out to Onyx. So if I have a heart with Jewel Knight, and if I have three or more rear guards with Jewel Knight, all of my units with Jewel Knight get 3K for each face up. Evangeline I have, so that's a lot of 6Ks going around. Cool. Come on, you need to go down. She's a wiggly girl. Cool, so we got all my 6Ks, and we're, that is my G zone, and we're gonna go right into the battle phase. Starting off with, guess my Vanguard swing. Okay. It's all units or rear guards? Units, so she gets 6K as well. That's pretty dope. So plus 12 to the column, 13, so 28, 36, 42 to Vanguard. 40. Oh, limit break. I get another 2K. Yeah, so, so 48 with a crit. 48 with a crit? Calabunga. Put my little crit symbol. Yeah, I'm just this. gonna PG that for Jingo. One. Salami. Two, heal trigger, wow. do heal. Um, we'll get the 10K, cool, it's an ideal, get the 10K here. 
And then I'll heal one. Yeah. And my third check, nothing. Oh, I did my math wrong last time. I forgot about the power. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's whatever. I forgot about how, how Virginal Cecilia worked. That didn't hit, so I'm just going to go 26 to Vanguard on attack. I'm going to put a card from Hand of the Soul and draw a card. Anything on hit? Nope. Uh, 28. All right, cool. This is... If I call on top of it... Oh, I forgot to resolve this. Whoops. Because I can't... Well, this is, this is end of battle, actually. So yeah, I will do this first. So this is going to be 19, 29 to Vanguard. I'll take that. No trigger. Lyra. Cool. End of battle. Yeah. We soul blast two. Oh yeah, there is my uh, my sword me. Whoops. Well yeah, we'll soul blast two. And we search my deck for a grade two or less jewel knight. Let's grow out Lily. So then we will resolve Sybil. Look at the top three to call a grade two or less rear guard. Look, another Lily. Yeah. The rest go to bottom. Yeah, sure. Okay. To use Ashley's skill to counterblast to give Lily a crit. Okay. Cool. Next up, we got 1828 skill. Put two. Uh, I just realized I can't bounce the Ashley that I just uh, sent back into my drop zone, which is cool. Bummer. But it's fine. Ashley did her job. This is going to get an additional five. And so that's going to make this, what I say? The 1828, 33 to Vanguard with the crit. Oh, and I still charge one. 33 to my 13 G guard. Uh, I have four more units, so this is gonna get plus 20 K. Okay. Oh, it's a musketeer, that's cool. End of battle, uh, we, oh, I'm forgetting, it's not soul blast, it's soul charge. We put a normal unit from my drop zone to the bottom of my deck. Soul charge one, bounce. And you're gonna eat this either way. No. Um, and your, your rear guards don't really matter, so I think I'm just gonna push you for damage, honestly. Yep. 20, 27, tw uh, 33, 43, skill, 48 to Vanguard. I'll just take that, no trigger. Soul charge. And that is my turn. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna stride into Virginal Cecilia, because she makes things bigger than I thought she did. How many Counter Blasts am I going to need this turn? I believe just two, so that's fine. What I'm going to do is Counter Blast one, sack four, mm -hmm. check Jesus. top seven, call four, and they get power. Five, six, seven. Okay, so it's going to be Sol, Tor, Ruth and Merka, and the rest go to the bottom or shuffle. It's a lot of cards. For Look them at the top just go seven. To Shoot up to the same. Call them. Shuffle the deck. Great. Uh, and they all get. Oh, I have to flip. Uh, the, they all also get three K for every musketeer in my G zone. Oh. Which is the thing I forgot. Technically, they were supposed to be a slightly bigger, but it's fine. Which I have because of uh, Antero being a G guard musketeer. I have five, so everything here gets plus fifteen K. It's pretty dope. Uh, and then a couple of other things get to resolve. Uh, what do I want to do first? Uh, Ruth is going to call me this. Then I'm going to use Saul's skill. Soul Blast 1, retire a rear guard, check top 3, and I can call a thing. And if there's a trigger, I can activate it. But there is no trigger. Uh, I will call Ruth. And these go to the bottom, right? Yeah, the rest go to the bottom in any order. And then, do I want to use Tor skill? One, two, three, four, five. You, you only see five triggers out of deck. That means there's at least eight in your hand. <laughs> 17 left in deck. I know what the bottom two are. So there's 15 car uh, cards in my deck that I don't know the order of. Um, how saucy am I going to be? I'm feeling rather saucy. Um, let's go to the bottom. Do I have means of shuffling if I get too saucy for my own good? I do not have means of shuffling. Oh, wait a minute. I have Cecilia's Limit Break, which isn't a great thing I want to be doing. Um, that's my hand. Great. Um, I'm going to 
Well, these are at plus 15. If I called Cecilia's, it would be at plus 10, which is slightly smaller, but I would get draws out of it, which is also pretty cool. Oh, and Merka gets an additional 3K from her own skill. How do I want to do this? How many cards do you have in your hand? Good question. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You have 10 in hand. Yeah, screw it. Let's get saucy. I'm gonna use Taurus skill, counter bus one, retire this, check top five, and I can call up to two things. Um, I'm, and the re oh, I, I checked one too many. I'm so sorry. I believe that was the order. And oh, whatever, I'll shuffle, will be fine. Uh, we'll play Tor. He's go to the bottom. I don't feel like thinking. I feel like doing the funny thing, so I'm gonna try to do the funny thing. Um, I'm gonna use Ruth's skill, retire herself to counter charge. Use Tor skill, counter bus one, retire herself, because it doesn't say retire another. Check top three, call a card, put the rest on the bottom. Um, doesn't really m matter. I'm gonna put it here. Nope, oh, like that. Call Ruth, uh, Ruth skill, on play, sack itself to counter charge again. Uh, I'm gonna play Saul. Souls. Oh shoot, I don't have the soul. Never mind, I fucked up so badly. Uh, I didn't realize I did not have the soul for that. Shoot, that sucks. That actually blows so hard. I, I blew my load too hard. There's no reason I should have done that then. Well, what can you do? Uh, so this is just gonna be 28 to Van then. Wait, does she get power for some reason? No, it's just the called card, so yeah, just 28. Okay. I'm partially inclined to take this because I know, well, actually no, because I could just take one of your other two and only go yeah. two damage more. So yeah. I'm gonna PG and discard. First check, over trigger. God. That's what I was, uh, what, the, the funny play was Soul says when you call a trigger, counter boss went to activate it. So gotcha. I, was, I knew the bottom of my deck and I knew they weren't overs. So I was hoping to try to manually activate over, but I didn't have to do that. Uh, so what does this do exactly? So I draw a card no matter what because it's an over. Then its effect activates. I draw a card, uh, I give a thing, uh, I'm gonna give 100 million to here because it's the weaker column. Uh, then everything gets an additional 10K. Uh, I give an additional crit. This is 100 million, so I'm gonna give the 100 million to the one with the additional crit. Um, and I heal one. Mm -hmm. And this gets bound. And that was only the second check, third check. Oh, I DQ'd because I put them in the same zone. <laughs> Throwback. Throwback. All right, and you PG'd that. I did. Uh, 100 million three crit. Well, this is exactly why that one G guard that turns things into a PG but makes me counterblast to do it is really bad. Because you're out of counterblast. Because I'm out of counterblast and I'm out of PGs. So here we go. Wow. Over trigger. Cool, we're gonna do 100 mil. Sure, but you to... don't heal. But this does special. get removed automatically, yeah. and I draw. Second check, draw trigger. I'm already at 100 mil, so it doesn't matter, so I'll give the power over here, why not? Sure. Draw a card. Power to the other rear guard. Sure. All right, uh, so are you gonna guard it if I attack a rear guard? Do I need to do the math? Uh, this is- Maybe, yeah. Okay, so front row got plus 10K, and these, so this column is at plus, 40, uh, so 18 plus 40, 40, 18 plus 40 is 58 plus three is 61 to that one. Sure, um, that's fine. Yep, and that's it. It really just depended which column you decided to swing at. Right. <laughs> Stand and draw. Uh, cool. So there's a few funny things I can do. Right, Ashley. Sure. We're gonna get another force marker. Sure. Put it here. Then we're going to stride. Striding into Crystal Luster Dragon. Okay. Um, going to use the on place ability of Ashley when a unit's placed on top of her, I can counter blast. Mm -hmm. and give it a crit. Call Christine, Christine's skill. Uh, counter blast one. I have four other units. Oh, I have three other rear guards with Jewel Knight in their name. I reveal a grade three to search my deck for a grade three and call it to rear. Call Ashley. Okay. And then we have Crystal Luster's GB3. Um, as long as I have three or more grade two or greater units on my board, mm -hmm. one, two, three, 
You have to guard with three at a time from your hand. From my hand, okay. All right, battle phase. Sure. Oh, and also, um, not battle phase. I'm going to Charge. F- <laughs> flip a G unit in my G zone face up. Mm. I now copy my heart's skill. Okay. Otherwise, Chris Elixir would have done nothing. There we go with this does. Yeah. At the end of the battle, Soul Blast 2 to call a thing, and that also has the 3 to guard. Cool. Great. Love. Uh, battle phase. Sure. So right now that's 27, but I'm going to use skill to give plus 5. So that's 32 to Vanguard, and you have to guard with 3 at a time from hand. So I'll charge. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Oh, I did my math wrong. Fuck. All right. Um, oh, that I'm so. Do you want the, so you want the odds of me getting a trigger from that stack were four and six. Oh. There was a sixty-six percent chance of getting a trigger off of that. Nice. So there we. That's cool. Love that. Oh, <laughs> well, unboosted. So this is going to be thirty-three to Vanguard. Uh, guard three at a time from hand. Yeah, I guess we'll do it like that. Thirty-eight. Cool. End of battle that it attacked. Mm-hmm. Soul Blast 2, search for a grade 2 uh, unit. Gonna call, yeah, let's do call Lily. Okay. So, other Lily that I placed on top of it gives the Lily that was just called 10k. Okay. 30 with skill, two things to the bottom, Soul Charge 1, gets another 5, so it's gonna be 35 to Vanguard. The 15. 38. One. Right. 28. 36 to Vanguard with two crit, and you have to guard three at a time. Before I intercept, let's just see where Calibrin gets me. Uh, discard one, it gets 20k. So it's mm. 28, uh, 28, so it's 48 to how much? 36. 48 to 36, so that's going to be all of the triggers are V triggers, so that's two to pass, right? Mm hmm. Um, yeah, uh, we'll just do two to pass. All right. First check, second check, third check. Awesome. Um, I am not going to resolve this yet because I'm going to resolve my Vanguard's ability first. Sure. We're going to Soul Blast 2. Uh, search my deck for two grade two or less Jewel Knights because I'm on my Vanguard circle instead of a Rearguard circle. Oh. So I'm going to call two Lilies. Okay. Uh, that Lily gives this one 10k. Okay. And then I can resolve this. I'll put this to the bottom, soul charge one, because it doesn't really matter, and bounce. Okay. All right, this is the weaker column. So this is uh, with skill, two mm-hmm. things to the bottom of the deck, making it 35 to Vanguard, and you have to guard with three at a time. How much is the other one? This one's going to be 42. 42 and 35. I have to discard my hand no matter what to get out of this. So yeah, I'm going to G guard into. Robertina, I'm gonna take two units with the same name, put them on the bottom of my deck, put them on the bottom, she gets 15k and I counter charge one, so that's 43. Cool. Yeah, and then this is 30, gonna use the skill obviously, two units to the bottom of the deck, 42. Got overguard, because I need to use three. Cool, pass yeah. turn. Yeah, I knew that was gonna be a trigger, because of course it was. Why well, couldn't it have been in the any other order? That would have been really cool, but it's fine. Um, all right, I can't stride because it was in the wrong order. Um, and this I have to be on virginal, so the crest is functionally useless right now. Uh, all right, just at the hands of fate, hoping I can twin drive my way out of this, 13 to van. I'm not twin driving my way out of this. <laughs> All right, we got a we got a overguard for sure. So, twenty-eight, thirty-eight. Okay. Critical trigger. We're gonna go all effects to Tor because it's bigger. Second check is Cecilia. Yep. Uh, eighteen, twenty-eight, thirty-eight, two crit. To, actually, this is only fifteen to that column. Guard. Thirty-eight, two crit to them. G guard. Maskell. Flip. So we're at 38 and extra shield. That's it. All right. I have no means of countercharging. So. Mm. 
I simply don't think you need to. <laughs> um, do I have a G unit or any means of anything that would warrant doing this? I don't think so. Yeah, so, but work just to be extra funny, this will work. Call That's, Sybil. Yeah. 10K. Call this thing. Call this thing. Yeah. Call Sybil. It's 10K. And yeah. 38 to Vanguard. Of course it wasn't. <laughs> oh, that is where, that's where Elementaria was. That's annoying. Four triggers in my deck too. You wanna know what the extra frustrating thing about that was? I The odds of me getting the triggers I had said before, the damage was a grade three. The draw for turn was a trigger. The first drive check was a grade three. So if in any other combination, I still could have strode that turn. Yeah, it that's true. <laughs> that was, this is why I don't play this game. Cause this game hates me specifically. <laughs>